All right, let me show you a quick, easy way to be efficient with your towel work. So if you're doing any type of mosaic border of any sort, something like this glass mosaic, set them on a sheet of curdy membrane the night before. Now this stuff comes in different size rules. The most common one is about five inches. We're gonna split this thing in half. So it's gonna be just a roughly around six inches wide. I always say, just go ahead and make it as wide as you can. And then you can cut it down later. Uh, depending on how the pattern works out and maybe what the customer really wants. Uh, in this particular situation, we're just literally cutting it in half. So I got the seven and a half inch roll. This is only 16 foot wide. And since I'm doing a regular tub surround, I really only need 11, 11 feet of it. So it works out well. So let's get this out, but this will save a lot of time and headache with installing the border and making sure that you set it at the correct depth, at the same depth as the wall tile. So this is all as it is, it's just a, a sheet membrane. And we're gonna use some Ardex X5 for the thin set. And we're gonna thin set this and I'm doing this the night before so that everything is nice and you know well bonded. And then I can go ahead and put this in. So if you're doing smaller quantities of stuff, it's roughly uh, two parts powder, one part water. So just go ahead and roll. Yeah, so that's about half right there. So we'll cut these in half. And one annoying thing is about some of these, they're no longer like universally done. They're different sizes. So you can tell they're kind of randomly set. But it looks like if I set them right in half, they should line up. Yeah, it looks like, well, no, it doesn't line up that way. Unbelievable. That's pretty annoying. They really make it, they're really making it tough on you to be able to just buy a few sheets of this. They're really making this stuff so that you have to buy more than you need. So that should give me plenty of room. Yeah, I've got plenty of it there now. That should be good. I'm just directionally trial. So we'll be cutting off this excess. Let's use a grout float to embed it. Okay, so this being set up will make the installation of this a lot, lot easier. I'll be able to line that straight up with the tile. 
won't have the like really, I mean, I'll be using some shims to kind of hold it in place, but you're not going to have to struggle, you know, trying to get this aligned so much because I can build up as much as I want behind there. But taking the extra time the night before to do this, really well worth the effort. So I assure you, this is gonna make life so much easier when you go to set this into your tub surround or shower. Now, this is just one tutorial out of 17 tutorials that I have on tiling in my tub replacement shower course. And in each one of my tutorials, I have a written outline along with all of the links to all the products that are gonna help you be able to do this. Uh, and if you do have a wider curdy uh, border of any sort, they do make a 10 inch as well. And then you can also just get a full sheet of membrane and be able to make the border as wide as you want. But this is really, uh, I'm really hoping this is gonna help you out with your own project. I used to fight installing um, these type of products or borders all the time, trying to get them even with the outside tile. And this has really transformed the way I do things. So definitely check out my course. I think this will really help you out, especially if you're kind of a beginner or don't do tile work all the time. I have a lot of tips and tricks that are just really gonna help you out throughout this whole process. And then if you have another, um, you know, if there's something different about your project that I can't, I'm not outlining here, you know, you can leave me a comment, a question, and I'd be more than happy to help you out. Because over time, I'm just gonna continue to build more courses and answer all of your questions. So thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.